Well, it's something you commonly use for laundry. Some people, those little detergent pods. It's now a concept being used to power engines and things like drones and missiles. In today's Technically Speaking report, Local 10's Joe Insignara shows us how a local company created a Tide Pod for engines and transmissions. And this actually can be used to save money and lives. What we do is we bring modularity to engineers. Modularity, that's a word that might not be the easiest to digest for non-engineers or those who don't consider themselves handy. But technically speaking, it means the quality of having separate parts that, when put together, form a complete whole. Robert and Daniela Sladen are two of the co-founders behind this modularity to engineering in the form of their company, Zulu Pods. Headquartered in Fort Lauderdale with a manufacturing facility in Amherst, Massachusetts, Zulu Pods, the pod standing for Packaged Oil Delivery, is described as creating, quote, the world's first decentralized lubrication system for limited life applications. And I think we just came up with the concept, what if, we, what if there's another way to do it? What if we could do it like this, a smaller burst of oil, everything all in one in a handheld uh, pod, Visually, it's taking what you see here on the left, traditionally, and turning it into the right, combining the function of a reservoir, pump, and nozzle into a single, self-contained, self-pressurized, and hermetically sealed device. In other words, it's like a Tide Pod for jet engines. As soon as the washing machine starts, the, the, you know, the detergent comes out. It's the same idea as as soon as the engine starts, the oil comes out. Um, once the laundry is done, there's no more detergent. Once the engine blows up or does its mission, there's no more oil or no more engine. Both Robert and Daniela have backgrounds in aerospace and defense, giving them the tools and confidence needed to invent a tech platform they believe transforms traditional fluid oil delivery systems. Created by a 3D printer and fitting into an engine bearing, each pod also delivers the right amount of lubrication for each use. That in turn simplifies the process without companies having to overhaul already existing infrastructure. In this case, we flip it and we start on the inside so it's, the oil is already closer to where it needs to be, so you don't need tubes for it to travel. In addition to limited use engines, Zulu pods can also be applied supplementally in case of oil interruption or as an emergency backup, such as an oil leak on a helicopter. With this as the jumping off point, the idea for the company is to be applicable to a host of other possibilities as well. Any mechanical system that exists, uh, whether it's maritime, whether it's ground vehicles, whether it's in the sky, whether it's wind turbines or energy, anything where um, this idea of a small, amorphous, lightweight pod um, could help you know, save somebody's life or save a multi-million dollar piece of machinery if there was a failure, that's the, that's the going forward strategy. It's a company with a lot on its plate and ambitions set high, but with two of the leaders partnered, not just in business, but in life, it makes what's been a long winding journey that much more worth it. I think doing it together, um, having time to like drop off my kids for school, pick them up, like that, that is um, a good like work-life balance. And yeah, just growing this every day, no matter what comes, we'll just always get through it. Zulu Pods already has contracts with the U.S. Army and the Navy, plus partnerships with other manufacturers. Future use of the technology is also hoping to be applied to commercial products that can then sell in other industries. In the studio, I'm Gio Insignares, Local 10 News.